Napa Valley. You can make wine by art alone, or by science alone, or by technology alone, but if you use all three of them, you can achieve the top. In stores that they don't have a tasting, it's very hard if you didn't taste those wines. It's a more luck than anything else. In many cases, the label decide so label is very important. The Europeans have been much more rigorous about protecting not only the name and the place, but also the specific product. And in, in the case of the American system, they want to protect the place, but they want the freedom to make whatever they like. No, just, I suggest we, we can just talk if you want to just let it run. Yeah, yeah, let's just, yeah. Let's just talk. Can... The next probable fight that's going to come is whether if Napa wants to sign on for EU-type protections, does that eventually mean that the name protections, the appellations that are provided in the U.S. aren't going to be strict enough that they're going to start regulating the types of wines that you can make. That's probably never going to happen. The quality of wines from the Napa Valley are extremely high, and in part because the people who are buying lands there are very serious about what they're doing. You know, more typical would be Unity, which is made by Fisher. We have 45. In about 2001, um, Napa Valley Vintners decided to take a broader look at their protection. There was no real process in place. So initially, um, we didn't get protection on the first request simply because the EU really didn't know what to do with it. Now it's been done you can do it too, hopefully for less expense than it was for the vintners, and we can get protection for all the, the regions in the U.S. that are deserving of it.